What's up, YouTube? Pokemon Master here. I'm back with an episode two of our Let's Play of Fire Red. Do not forget to like and subscribe to the Pokemon Master himself. And I have some important news to show you. Pretty important, anyway. Um, Swoop is not level three anymore, as you can see. He is now a level six. I've trained him off screen because I thought it would be very, very boring if you guys, you know, just saw me battle wild Pokemon on Route One, which is like really weak Pokemon. Um, so it wasn't really that hard, and plus I used the speed up, which made it extremely fast, way faster than like on the 3DS and stuff, and I just healed him up. So basically, we are gonna go head out to the next route, guys. Uh, so yeah, I think, are there potions in here? If there is, then I'll be pretty happy. Let's buy some, yep, they have a few, um, we already have two in our bag, let's just buy, er, I don't wanna spend too much. I don't want to go broke like I did back in um, Crystal. If you guys saw that playthrough, unfortunately it got cancelled. I wish it didn't because I, I was really enjoying it at the time. Unfortunately it did get cancelled because like either Nintendo or some developer um, um, f found out player.org and apparently, you know, took out some video games. Whew, I'm trying to memorize all my notes. Of what? Okay, be sure to read what's on the blackboard carefully. Okay. The blackboard list Pokemon status problems in a battle shop you want to see. I don't know all the status effects. So without further ado, guys, we will go to the next route, which is above us. Um, route two, guys. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm hype. Where we have Pidgey or um, Swoop up in front. Um, I believe you can just you know skip all this grass. Yep. Just like in Generation One, I still remember that. I still remember that trick. Some people still went through the grass, even though there's like a clear shortcut. Well, I guess it's not really clear because like you have to be like a certain certain way of movement so you can see the shortcut. But some people just walk through it. Viridian Forest, guys, our first major like you know landmark of the whole game. Let me see what this guy wants. I came here with some friends to catch us some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get same Pokemon battles. And I believe my friend Keith, Captain Keith, check him out in the description below, guys. He's an epic YouTuber, upload Minecraft, all sorts of things. Just in general, a great YouTuber and a great fan, great friend also. And he started a yellow walkthrough, which is the same kind of. I guess you can't say it's the same generation as this game because literally this is Generation Three. Um, yellow is Generation One. Um, but they're kind of the same, they're the same region, I guess we can say that. Um, let's continue our way upward north. Um, looks like a first battle, guys. Luckily we have, um, swoop up in front, and, you know, bug type moves don't, aren't very effective against him. And he should, and Pidgey, when he eventually learns Gust, could really literally sweep this whole forest of all the bug, bug Pokemon. Unfortunately, he does, he does not know. I don't know why I keep messing up my words, but he does not know any um any flying type moves yet, so we will spam the tackle um until this Weedle's eventually destroyed. Do not poison us, please. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna jinx myself. Gosh, uh I believe nope. Yep, I was right. We don't have an antidote, guys. Um So let's just Oh my gosh, I hate myself. Are you serious? Oh, at least you go to level 7. I guess that's a positive of being poisoned. I don't know if it's really worth it, growing up a level. Um, Let's switch out to Keith, guys. You know you know how I roll. Pokemon at the same level. Keith's one level down. Behind Swoop, which is pretty weird because... Hey, I just realized both of these Pokemon are super effective against Grass-type. However, none of them know any, you know, fire or flying moves, which is very very weird and unfortunate i guess it's not too weird because like literally j they're both level six except so we just turned level seven so i guess you can't expect too much um we are gonna have trouble against um brock because of obviously um black super super effective against both flying and fire so but uh, but keith i believe learns um metal claw at level 13 so hopefully we get to level 13 before we face the gym leader, which means we could have... And we learned a fire move, guys. Perfect. Um, hopefully we get to level 13 before um, the gym. So we could... Did I pick up the item back there? 
Yep, I did. I just wasted my time. No! I need to find an antidote. I believe there's an antidote somewhere around here. I have to find it in time. Or else. Where is it? No! I'll come back and battle that guy. Please be antidote. Please be antidote. Yes, guys! He found an antidote right in the nick of time before Pidgey was about to faint. So we will quickly use the antidote and potion combination. Oh, Swoop is at level 3. Luckily, I stopped him before he fainted, so we can um, apply potions onto him. Yeah, use the potion. Drink those steroids. and no, I'm just kidding, guys. Don't do drugs. Um, This is another trainer. You can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. Well, technically, I could jam out because I, I could just, like, X out this. X out this. Um, X out this game. Basically, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I can jam out of this if I wanted to. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. Anyways, this guy has a Weedle. I swear, if he poisons Swoop again. Oh my gosh, dude, this game. This game is a bunch of Ebola. Okay. Um, let's use Tackle again. Oh, I'm so mad. Why Swoop? I mean, why? Yeah, why Swoop? Why do you always have to get poisoned? You know, it'd be weird if like. In, in Generation 7, they made all these Pokemon with, like, personalities. Like, not, not like, the, um, uh, nature, but, like, abilities. But, like, one has, either has, like, an advantage or a disadvantage. Like, one's very prone to, um, poison, so it gets poisoned easier. Or, like, paralyzed easier, and, or something like that. That'd be pretty nice. Because then it'd be just like, um, humans, you know what I mean? Because some people are better at things than others. So, like, for example, if we had a Pidgey... What if they had different types of Pidgey with like their own personality and stuff? Like, um, one, um, like one was, you know, like, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, like, how do I explain this? Like, you know, humans in the real world, they have like, we're like struggling with things like diseases and stuff. And, you know, um, you know, all those weird stuff. What if like, like, and in mutations what if there were like pokemon mutations and pokemon diseases that made them like prone like like swoop would be prone to poison that would be a pretty sweet idea um uh we should knock out this weedle unfortunately i think i'm gonna die no why i hate weedle now it's my arch enemy i will forever hate weedle for the rest of my pokemon career um we will send out charmander obviously or keith or Keith a kiss or Keck or Raha. Keith! You remember that? You remember Keith Raha? Okay guys, we just defeated this Weddle. I'm gonna call it Weddle for now on. That's that's a sign of disrespect. I'm just gonna call it Weddle for now on. Because I do not want to call it Weedle because it makes me so angry. Um a Kakuna. Luckily we have Ember, so it can't harden that much because Harden obviously raised its defense stat, not its special defense stat. Which means Ember will have no problem take one shotting this thing. We gain 160 HP, guys. Let's go level nine. I'm hype. Okay. Player defeated Bug Catcher Dougie. He knows how to do the Dougie. That's why his name is Doug. All right, guys. Um, let's continue. Um, next up, we have which route? I'm gonna go up. We have another Pokemon trainer, guys. Um, what Pokemon does he have? I might be little, but I won't like it if you go easy on me i won't go easy on you then it's your call i'm just warning you if i destroy you with the op man himself the return of the op man then then, then, then don't point fingers at me because i was going super hard on you when i roast your bugs you no know, countries like some countries they eat bugs that's weird well i guess it's not weird to us uh, it's kind of weird to people so it's everything's weird to someone like no one's gonna think you're like all perfect. Like everyone's gonna, you 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 have something weird about you. Like everyone has something weird about them. And I guess one of the countries, like some many, so a few countries, like they eat bugs. I guess that's like a weird part. Weird things. You know, everything has weird things. Dude, our our Pokemon are leveling up like crazy. Uh, Buttcatcher Anthony was defeated. Another reference to Smosh, guys. Pokemon Crystal, there was Ian. Pokemon Fire Red is now freaking anthony now let's check what, what 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 would happen if we went down down there would there be an item or something i think there would uh no it's just grass um let's continue up guys 
Um, then we'll get through the rest of Radiant Forest. The rarest Pokemon you can find is actually a pretty rare Kanto Pokemon. It's Pikachu. Um, so yeah. If you run into one, I might catch it because it's super duper rare. And let's see if we run into one right now. Aw. Cool, it's yellow and all, but it's not the right yellow. You're not the mascot of this. You're not the mascot of the Pokemon universe. Or... What is Pokemon? Is it like in a whole another universe? Or is it like on a whole another planet? Or like country? I mean, I don't know. Dimension? Did you know that Pokemon evolved? No, I didn't know that Pokemon evolved. I, di I didn't know that. Unfortunately, Bugcatcher Charlie, I didn't know that. Two. I, I think I get it now. Oops, I accidentally for scratch. Um, if you guys know about Smosh, you know Charlie the Drunk Guinea Pig, right? This guy's name is Charlie. The other guy's name was Anthony, and the other guy in Pokemon Crystal's name was Ian. Is it a coincidence? I think not. I think after Smosh uploaded that Pokemon video, that I guess Pokemon's like, ah, screw, take your glory, and then like added like little Easter eggs. And plus, guys, Charlie the, Drunk, Charlie the Drunk Guinea Pig is one, right? All right, pay attention, guys. Charlie the Drunk Guinea Pig is one thing, right? Anthony's another thing, and Ian's another thing. What happens when you add all those together? There's one thing, another thing, and another thing. That's three, guys. Three. How much triangles are there in Illuminati? Three. Coincidence? I think not. Yep. And now you're probably wondering, where's the all-seeing eye, right? Well, guess what? It's all in the Pokemon trainer. Stare into his stare into my Pokemon trainer's eyes. Do you see a soul, huh? Do you see a soul? Okay. We ran into this random weedle. Random random weedle. Random weedle. Wandin weedle. It sounds it sounds like I was a baby. Wandin weeble. Wandin random weedle. Random weedle. I found an item. Yay! Fiesta, okay. That's around a potion which is always good. I love healing items because they're very useful, especially when you get later onto the game. I believe this is the last section of Iridium Forest. Um, not the last bug catcher, I believe. Um, hey, wait up. What's the hurry? Why the rush? Because I'm trying to get to the next city. And train it at the same time. So I guess this this is pretty good. I don't know. Um, well, since Keith has been battling everyone. And the OP man's been knocking out people. Just like in Crystal. Um, yeah, just like in Crystal. He one-shots everything. The OP man is back, guys. He never left, you guys. He's still here. It may be a different body, but it's the same soul. Keith. He's still here. And since Keith is leveling up, like, major, major levels. He's, like, four levels above Pidgey. I mean, Swoop. And Swoop's gonna need some catching up to do, so I might just, um, do it off-screen. Like, um, catch. How do I say this? Train him off-screen. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Anyways, guys, we are here in Pewter City, um, our next city, guys, um, after Pallet Town. Technically, that's not a city, but a town. But we made it to pa Why am I saying Pallet still? Pewter City, guys. We are going to check one more thing out, and we are going to end the video here. We hope to see you again. Yes, still the disrespectful comment. Great. Illuminati confirmed still. Yay. Okay. Sorry. I'm addicted to Illuminati. You don't know if it's real or not. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Peter Museum of City Science. Um, looks like this is a science museum. Money. To, um, we're rich. I have three thousand. If I had three thousand dollars in real life, then then I'd be I'd be overjoyed right now. This guy's lucky to have even even one hundred dollars. Cause I'm cause my parents. I don't, I don't get allowances or anything. Aerodactyl fossil, a primitive and rare Pokemon. What does this guy have to say? Huh? Huh? You. I should be grateful for my long life. Never did I think it would get to see the bones of a dragon. <sighs> Kabutops fossils, a primitive and rare It's just saying, random Pokemon and saying primitive and rare. Not everything's primitive and rare, huh? I think this is like a relation to like the real world, where like the US went to the moon on the shuttle. Space shuttle, like that's all it says. No history yet or anything. Let's see what's going on over here. I want a Pikachu, it's so cute. Ask my daddy to catch me one. Did you catch it, huh? Yeah, Pikachu soon, I promise. Don't talk to me, talk to your little daughter, whoever that is. This match we're running a space exhibit. Yay, space. Too bad they don't have the ox. Technically, this is generation three. 
So, um, they do have Deoxys. Like, he's actually, um, he's actually, like, in this generation. So, I guess they could put him on here, but he's not in Kanto. So, I don't think so. A meteorite fell on Mount Moon and it's thought to be a moonstone. How was, so, moonstones come from space. That's pretty cool right there. That's pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna admit, that's pretty awesome right there. Uh, that's pretty much anything. We just wasted 50 bucks on uselessness of text dialogue. Nothing key to the story anyway, either. Um, but sadly, guys, with that, this is the end of episode 2 of my Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Don't forget to like and subscribe in the comments. If you think I'm doing a good job, compliment me in the comments. If you, if you Or at, at, at least just like the video or do both. Whatever you want. It's up to you. Because I cannot control you, obviously, through this computer screen unless I hypnotize you, which I probably can't. And if it exists, it would probably be illegal. Um, and if you think I'm doing a bad job, dislike this video if you want. And in the comments, tell me how I should improve. 99.9% .9 I will improve. And that's it for today, guys. Pokemon Master out. See ya!